Well, thanks so much, uh, Jeremy Turgeon Quintent, for being a part of Valley Advocate Sessions. It's a pleasure to have you guys. Oh, it's a pleasure here to be here. Definitely. Um, so, can you first uh, start off by uh, telling us a little bit about how the band formed? Yeah, we're uh, we're like the Motley Crew, man. Uh, so, uh, I've known Ash since high school. So that's that's how we got connected through high school, and we've just been connected ever since. Uh, I met Jero through church, uh, man, like seven years ago. <laughs> it's been a while. Um, I met Forrest uh, through a friend of mine from high school who went to college with him. Uh, and we, we had another band and we were looking for a bass player and he's like, oh, I got a guy. And uh, he's still with us, which is cool. And I met Mitali years ago at HCC's Jazz Night when it was over at the, the Clarion, I think mm -hmm. it was, yeah, yeah. before it got torn down. And uh, we did a gig with Braxton Cook. Uh, we brought him up from New York, and after that gig, I was like, man, we need a sax player. So I reached out to Mitali and was like, hey, man, you know, like, we're trying, I'm trying to add a sax to this, you know, let's meet, let's hang out. And uh, it's funny because when I set up the meeting, I was like, it's going to be 40 minutes. You know, I'm going to go there, give him all the info, and then that's going to be it. He's going to either be hired or he's going to walk away. And we were there for like three hours just <laughs> hanging and chatting. And, and it's super important to have that hang, that camaraderie with the, with the band members. So I was like, all right. He's cool. So that's kind of how we all formed and got together. One thing I really like about the band's style is this mix of uh, funk and jazz. Uh, how, how did you guys decide to come about it that way, by like uh, blending those two genres together and kind of following yeah. in the footsteps of like other bands from like, I know th that genre really started in the 70s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, honestly, it, it really has a lot to do with just everybody's individual background on their instruments. You know, like, Jero has an incredible background in, in the gospel scene and, and uh, R&B and funk scene, you know, so I'm not a piano player, so when I write charts and write piano charts, I'll, you know, I'm like, okay, bro, it kind of goes like this, and he's like, yeah, yeah, I got it, and then it does, it never sounds like what I gave to him. <laughs> But, uh, you know, so he brings that style in. Ashton did, did drum core for the longest time. So it's, he's got the speed happening, you know. Uh, but also has a really um, strong foundation in the R&B, funk, and gospel scene, you know. So having a rhythm section that automatically comes to the table with a few decades of experience in, in that field, I mean, it just kind of lends its hand for us to go in that direction. Um, you know, so when we come up with arrangements, like the arrangement of Summertime, we were just messing around one day in rehearsal over the tune and we were like, oh man, we should just do it. Like we should just do that tune. And we threw it in the set, we did the we did the arrangement and everything. And it was like, man, this is this is great. You know, so when we start designing original pieces, you know, that's one of the things that I keep in mind is like what's it what's everybody's strengths? You know, and obviously we want to push each other, you know, and grow. Uh, but you know, we want to keep that that solid foundation of, of where we're all really, really comfortable playing. You know, it makes the composition aspect a little bit easier and it allows us to vibe which is really what, what it's all about. What do you guys uh, really love uh, about the collaboration here uh, with this band? Oh man, getting, just getting artists uh, aware of other artists. You know, we so often, you know, if you, if you aren't able to travel or whatever, if you're not totally connected with people in the scene, you miss out on stuff. You know, I didn't, I didn't really know about like the Mary Jane Jones until a couple of years ago. I happened to meet Jeff Fennell, their sax player. He's like, hey man, come check out this gig. And I was like, well, these guys are awesome, you know. But if it, if it wasn't for stuff like that, you know, I would have never met him, you know. And then they're here on Valley Advocate Concessions. So if I never met Jeff, I would have found out about him, you know. So it's this awesome hub for all these local artists to just find out about each other and find out what's happening in the scene. And it's really unique. No, I think you mentioned that you guys are working on a new record. Uh, can you tell us about that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's been a long time coming. <laughs> uh, we've been writing music for like the last year. Um, we decided to put this record together called uh, What Matters Most. And uh, the biggest thing for me uh, while trying to come up with a theme for this was, you know, we, we are in the midst of a very crazy society and crazy world right now. And sometimes we lose sight of what, what matters most in our lives. It's hard to separate yourself from the chaos of the world, you know. Uh, so that's kind of the angle that I, I took for all of these pieces. So they all kind of have some thematic concept around that. Um, and the record has also doubled for us as a, as a tribute uh, to our uh, original singer uh, Ronald Lane who passed away um, a little over a year ago uh, unfortunately to uh, brain cancer 
Um, so we're we're dedicating this record to him. So it serves a dual purpose for us, and it, it's it's really meaningful to me. I, I met uh, Ronald in in college. You know, he's an incredible singer, and he was the one that was going around with us at all of our original gigs, helping us get our initial fan base, you know. So, I mean, it was it was important for me because that's one of those things that matters, you know, paying respect to those people that helped you do what you want to do and get to where you want to get to. Do you have a release date in mind? Nothing official just yet. Okay. Just yet. Uh, we just know it's going to be the end of September sometime. So we, I'll be announcing uh, the official release at the end of this month. All right. So, yeah, got to stay tuned for that. Well, thanks uh, for being on Sessions, guys. Uh, glad to have you. Yeah, thank you again for having us. Definitely.